right. It's Monday, August 9th. 2021 503 a.m. I'm on my way to the gym right now. You know, and 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 I'm I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna stay on this at at church. They have topics called series, and it feels like I'm stuck in a series. Like there's a there's a there's a particular topic God wants me to speak on. That particular topic is is God's will for your life. Just FYI, it, it's 5:03, but at two o'clock this morning, I was uh, me and my wife had taken my daughter to um, the emergency because she woke up at 12 o'clock and couldn't breathe. Her airways have swole up, but she's fine right now. We got back home. We were up at emergency for a couple hours and um, said a prayer and uh, her airways started to go back to normal. Her readings, everything went back to normal. So we don't know what it was, but thank God. But God's will for your life, you know, so often, so often we say, if this is God's will, I mean, if this is what God wants for us, then we'll have it. And some of the problems with saying that is it sounds like you're calling into question God and whether or not he wants you to have good. And the fact of the matter is you may not start off in a Bentley. He may give you a little bucket you're going to have to be happy about that little bucket. You can't ever forsake your small beginnings. Your starting points. Because sometimes that's just an introduction to say, I want to see how you'll do with this. You know, if I give you a little bit of money, I want to see how you'll do with this. I want to see how you'll make this work. And see, now I'm coming from a position of somebody who's had no money and somebody that's had money and, and been able to play both sides of it and see that you can make a lot of mistakes with a lot of money. Matter of fact, you could even become more of a dangerous threat with more money if you don't know what you're doing. And so when you say, well, if it's God's will, I say, well, if it's good, then it's God's will. Because God wants you to have what's in your heart. He wants you to eat the good of the land. So why would God not grant you something? Now, mind you, God's timing is impeccable. But why would God deny you something that's good? So you got to remember something. It ain't always God telling you no. Sometimes it's you just making mistakes, pushing yourself in the wrong direction. That at the end of the day, it wasn't God that told you no. It was you that couldn't handle the blessing that was coming. Facts. 